All right, so uh, I finally had to, you know, I had to readjust my magic position, and then I also had ran into some technical problems trying to get into Yggdrasil, because Pancake Swap kept giving me like you're blocked, you know, it was Cloudflare error. Luckily, it just resolved like like five ten minutes later, and then I had to move money from Zilla Finance, take a little bit of profit, and now it's on the uptrend, which I fucking called by the way, so. So the asshole that you downloaded my video, go fuck yourself. You know, we're making money, I'm making money, everyone who was smart enough to listen to me, which was like 99% of us, we're making money, you lost for disliking me, fuck you. And, um, well, yeah, I, mean, I, I guess that's it. So, all right, you know, I, I know how this how the game works, all right? I've been doing this a long time. All right, so if you lose money, it's, yeah, it's technically your fault, but there's actually a reason why, right? Because you probably, you, you probably made a lot of bunch of mistakes, right? And it just comes with the territory, but, you know, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I haven't even been paying attention to Zilla Finance, and i kind of been rating it quite a bit, and then we had 20, basically 24 hours or maybe 20 hours where it wasn't making anything, because obviously David had to turn off the reward pools to do the sharing and stuff. So I want to let my Zilla Finance position grow. Because, oh, man, it's so nice to finally finally see it, you know, soar like it should. All right. So anyway, I've been in chicken, I've been watching Chicken Finance for uh, quite some time. I did the Genesis pool. And then, you know, I ducked out of it because at the time, Chicken was way too high. All right. So four hours. And yeah, again, sorry about the radiator, but there's nothing I can do to stop it. So, yeah, so I definitely bailed out, you know, I made a little bit of money, which is why I don't deal with Genesis pulls anymore, all right? The exception will be uh, Sunday Finance later today, so I will be doing that one. Uh, and, of course, I don't have to worry about rug pull risk because it's the 3 ohm of Ice Cream Finance, so, I mean, obviously it's not... It could be an elaborate scam, but I think it's, like, very unlikely, all right? It's like, why would you actually do everything legitimate just to scam everyone later, and then you've already renounced contracts you are done audits and you i think one of the devs of ice cream finance i'm just guessing probably dox themselves in some form so i mean it's like you know whatever right it, it, it's probably safe so i'll do the so i'll do the video as soon as the sunday website launches right and then you know start ranking for the genesis pool keywords so anyway I, I know i dipped out like somewhere up here and then i just been watching it since and of course you know as always it tanks Right, because what do I always say? You're overpaid, right? You're overpaid. So, oh, I forgot to grab the, uh, I forgot to get the yield wolf. Uh, okay, let me see if I can grab this clown. So let me hope that this works. Yes, okay, good. Very, very good. So the APYs are very, very attractive. The amount of eggs is very, very low. You look at the total supply. Very low. Uh, in fact, now that I realize it, this is why the price of eggs, the shares, are very expensive. Yeah, because there's very little supply. So I should have actually thought of that. Well, that's okay. I don't mind having the base token, then whatever. So, oh, so that's actually why eggs are very resistant to drops, because there's just not a lot of eggs to drop with, which works for me. Because this, this basically forces up the APYs here. Right, they could see here on Yield Wolf. So therefore, the demand for chickens, the base token, is actually very high. So this is actually really good. Wow, I'm so glad I actually got into this. Uh, I either broke even or I made some profit. I don't know. I just know that my LP tokens for this, because I'm actually an FTM chicken. I didn't. I wasn't comfortable buying FTM egg, even though it's more money, simply because at the time I was like, yeah, the price is kind of high. I don't even remember what the price was, but you know. Set this to four hours. Yeah, I mean, this isn't too bad, I guess. I don't actually know. Yeah, see, so look at this. The, sh the price, yeah, the share price of egg was like around 6000 So I was like, at the time, you know what? I'm just going to do a chicken and then just go with whatever. And then, yeah, not surprisingly, it crashes to the, its real price. So very, very good. So, okay, so for, <coughs> excuse me. Some live is stuck in there. Hmm. Oops. 
Yeah, I pulled out the uh, straw a little bit too quick in there. So, uh, yeah, a little bit. Because of... I'm trying to rush through these things. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. Actually, it's never a good idea to rush through rush through things. All right. So anyway, the peg's not too bad. It's like 1.59 above peg, right? It's one to one of the Phantom. Uh, TVL is like okay. It's like 514k. Not bad for a new tomb fork, right? And we already had the price correction. So now this is like the first correction, right? You know, maybe eggs might tank, but you know, it can't really tank that much more because we're already close to peg. All right, egg has already did its you know normal correction like it should have, and again we're not too far above peg, so you know not it's not too bad. And of course the number of circulating eggs in the supply, which is funny, you know is really really low. So you know I mean yeah price impact is definitely going to be there. There's another reason why I probably just was like you know what I'll just stick with chickens. And this site looks an awful lot like piggy finance, piggy 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 oink oink oink. So I'm thinking maybe these projects might be somehow related, but I don't know where these tomb forks get their really nice graphics from, by the way. It's, it's, so, it's so nice looking. All right, and of course they have all the convenient things and buttons that I always like, so you know I'm a big fan of that. All right, so we look at Chicken FTM uh, LP, you know, it pays a little under 12%, and of course there's a lot of TVL in here. Very, very good. Then here's egg, which is the shares, and it's paying 13.15% APR, right? A lot less TVL, but very good APR nonetheless. Okay, and then we've got the good old boardroom. And wow, look at that. So basically two-thirds of all the eggs that are out there are already in the boardroom, right? It's producing 63331. Okay, so right now the boar room is producing as many chickens as it possibly can, right? Because usually when the APR is below the staking pools, that means the dev is basically telling everyone, okay, you know, we need to bring back the peg, we got to stop inflating, you know, go into the, you know, token liquidity pools, all right, stop, and then stop staking the board room. So... All right, fair enough. So this is actually a very interesting dynamic. This is a little bit new for me because I actually thought there was a lot of eggs in circulation compared to its whole supply. But you know, because again, I'm doing all these different projects. So I can't. At some point, I can't keep track of anything, right? Which is why I'm using Yield Wolf so much. And the other thing too, I'm really pissed with Beluga. That shit sucks. Just don't use fucking Beluga. Like all it does is steal my fees and doesn't give me any rewards. And I just lose time and money. It's like. I know other people are experiencing the same problem, so there's clearly something wrong with Beluga. So I'm just hoping Platinum Finance just gets themselves on Yield Wolf because they did renounce the contract on the base token Platinum, right? I know they renounced something. Okay, I know I should. I, I'm just gonna have to check. Okay, documentation. What did you renounce? Because again, that's all that they require. So where is tokenomics, voltage, no, contracts, wallets, uh, okay, you got to be kidding me, dude. Okay, maybe, uh, can't talk right now, making videos, I'll call you later. Uh, that was a family member, so I just had to... Okay, so, I don't even know. The, 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 I'm looking on my Chrome right now. It, the, I could have sworn I saw them say that they were announced a contract, because... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Yeah, I know I read it somewhere, I think. Alright, well, I'll look into it after. Alright, anyway. Oh, yeah, seriously, so eggs just went down by, like, 9 or 10 bucks or something. Okay, so that being said, looking pretty good. A lot of chickens being made, so that will explain why we have a kind of large amount of chickens. So as I was saying before, all of that. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when the amount of chickens basically gets hyperinflated. The price goes down, and therefore we're at peg. But the very you have a very low supply of shares, right? Which in this case is eggs. So this will actually be a kind of interesting new thing for me to observe. 
So, not exactly too thrilled that the APR is still kind of high up there, but, I mean, oh well. Also, we just have the Epoch, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this number just increased, but unfortunately I don't remember. I don't know, I would actually look at the recording of this video and go back and then see what this number was, because I, I, I don't remember the number here. Okay. So, here is the renouncement of their contracts. The only thing that they seem to have renounced was actually the chicken uh, token, which is fine by me, because Yield Wolf only requires... Oh yeah, I didn't finish my thought from Arrow. Yield Wolf really only seems to require that you renounce the base token. Right? You can keep everything else, apparently. Which is great, because... And that's the only reason why, like, why can't Platinum Finance, like, freaking just get themselves on Yield Wolf? Right, they just have to renounce one base token. I, I don't know. But they said they've been working on it. They still continue to work on it. I don't know what's taking... Well, actually, I do know what's taking them so long, but, you know. All right, well, whenever it gets, happens, it happens. So there's pre this is pretty much the only thing they've renounced, because this is the only thing they can see here. And it even says we renounced our token. Okay, so... So that being said, so the only real risk I see with this, aside from rug pull risk, of course, which is, of course, decreasing over time, is really the, not so much the peg, but it's really the boardroom, because it is right now set to just keep printing more and more chickens. So, I don't know, I, I guess we'll have to see, but again, they only, they didn't renounce anything else, so there's a bug, the devs can easily fix the problem, so that's very good. All right, so here we are. Here's chicken. Uh, okay, so I don't know. Maybe I did actually. Yeah, so maybe I bought it around this red candle or down here. I don't even remember. Actually, did I buy it at that? I don't know. Like, okay. All right, let me actually go into my. Let's see. I can click this deposit link. Oh, okay. Wow, I actually was confusing it with my own little thing. Okay, so according to FTM scan, that's the nice thing about Yule Wolf, I actually went into chicken 12 hours ago, so it was actually last night. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm totally in profit then. Yeah, so I am sweet, uh, farming this sweet, sweet yield. Yeah, I bought the bottom, great. All right, at this point, I can't even keep track of anything. So 12 hours ago would be... Somewhere around this green candle, I guess. No, it was around this red candle. Yeah, even better. So yeah, I bought the bottom. In fact, I probably bought around 270, 280. Great. Yeah, that works for me. And then you can see the same pattern here with uh, the shares or eggs. So it's the exact same pattern. So again, I think this is a good credit to the fact that there's just so few eggs out there. You know, and again, works for me. And they're already on Yield Wolf, so there's constant buying pressure on all these clown tokens. So very, very good. And of course, here is the uh, really good stuff. So obviously, you're getting more yield on Yield Wolf. I'm, I'm pretty sure Yield Wolf makes money, but they have to probably take a little bit of this, right? And but but because they're compounding so much, they're making a little, you know they're making really really good money, and that's good because I want this I want Yield Wolf to succeed so that they can provide us more you know more of this, all right? They can hire more teams, can hire more members, more developers, more everything, more mods and customer service, and you know it's like a it's a real business, right? So again, the more money they make, the more money I make, right? The more money you make, so you want these guys. Yield Wolf people to do really well, especially because Beluga fucking sucks, and I'm still kind of annoyed that they wasted my time and my money, right? So now I'm doing the stupid manual compounding. This might actually be a problem because I might actually dump my Platinum Finance positions if they just don't get on Yield Wolf because I just don't. I mean, right now it's okay because I'm only manually compounding two projects: Yggdrasil and Platinum. But Yggdrasil is literally brand new, so they'll probably do auto compounder and Yield Wolf ASAP. So, and then I can finally, you know, Labita Loca. But Planet of Finance, I don't know what their problem is. I don't know. But I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it, of course. So anyway, you can do... Uh, right now, I'm actually an FTM chicken, because I feel that's actually safer, right? Because again, and it worked out, because again, as you can see, you know... 
Well, I guess it, it wouldn't have been too bad, right? Because I thought I went in, like, days ago. So I actually was in this 12 hours ago. I've been watching it for many days. That's probably what it was. So anyway, yeah, I actually would have been okay. I would have bought shares at, like, 1600 But even if I had that option, I still would have gone to chicken because this is still a really high price, right? Going from two ninety three to like a dollar seventy, that's a or dollar well dollar seventy. All right, that's a little below Phantom right now, all right? Because I think Phantom's like one eighty. Let's take a look. Yeah, Phantom is one eighty six, and we're currently in a slight uptrend, so that's very good. So that's another double f you to the asshole that downloaded my Zilla Finance update. You stupid prick. You know, I hope I hope you're missing the boat because you 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 asshole you. You know. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, so, where are we at? So, 293 to, like, 180 doesn't feel nearly as bad, but 1674 going down to, like, 1,000? That's a little too much for me, man. I mean, I really want these eggs, but, you know, you know, I was like, you know, I just made a judgment call. I don't want to spend too much time on it, right? And then I was like, all right, I'll do FTM chicken. I'll, you know, I can always get the eggs later if I really, really have to have the eggs. Right, I'll have to pay a lot more, but that's okay too, right? Because I just did a video on base finance, the first video I did for today, and the shares on that are ridiculous, like forty two hundred bucks, but now it's at like fifty eight hundred as of like thirty minutes ago. So, I mean, it's not just price, but it's a very big fact. It's the fundamental factor, obviously, but it's not the only factor, right? So I was like, you know what, FTM chicken, I'll buy an egg when I feel more comfortable with it. Because I'm actually okay with paying more money for something and even take less yield if I know it's safer, right? And a good indicator of safety is, you know, people are buying it up like crazy, right? Buying momentum. Because that's Greg Manorino's uh, method of investing, right? He doesn't want to buy bottoms. He hates he hates picking tops and bottoms, right? He constantly says that. I love doing that. So that's there's obviously contradictory uh, actions when it comes to investing and trading. But he does say, I like buying when it's already being bought by other people because he likes riding the momentum. I'm, saying, I'm basically saying that's the exact same thing. I'm going to do an egg. All right. So will it suck for me to pay $3,000 an egg? Sure. But if it's like green candle, green candle, small red candle, green, 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 all right. Meanwhile, I see this doing pretty well too, the chicken, the base token. Yeah, I'd probably be comfortable with it. But again, I still would prefer a chicken and egg LP so I get everything and I don't have to worry about it. It's working great for me on Zilla Finance, right? Zilla 2, well, I don't have to say 2.0. So I have Zilla Z shares, so I'm getting everything. Oh, guess what? They're both going up like crazy. Oh, guess what? I'm making so much money. And it's got great yield, too. It's actually one of the highest on Yield Wolf. So, I mean, I know what I'm doing, right? I know what I'm doing. And you benefit from it for free because none of you are donating any tokens to my MetaMask, but that's okay. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, there's not, there's not much more to say. So those are my thoughts on egg, right? I would rec I would recommend FTM Chicken, not financial advice, of course, because I feel it's safer. And I could just sleep more comfortably at night. And again, I only have like 79, 80 bucks into this, right? But... This, what I'm really looking at is this, man. 12.67% daily. That's constantly auto compounding. Right? It's got an okay amount of TBL in here, too. Right? 53.8K. 53 trying to see if I can load up the page. There we go. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with Brave and Yield Wolf. But it's a very minor problem. So, It only affects when I do these videos anyway. Yeah, so the last compound was eight minutes ago. So there's a lot of people, or is there's enough people doing the compounding thing. Yeah, in fact, I bet Beluga would, Beluga would actually be good if they actually had this. That's all you need, all right? But because you're like Beefy Finance, I mean, Beefy Finance is a big site. So they can afford to take forever, but also their site works. Beluga, on the other hand, it just doesn't work. For two hours, I get zero rewards. Like, what the fuck? Last night, it was working. I'm so mad. But anyway, yeah, so we're already pushing like 13% daily APY on this. So one thing I want to show you guys, and then I'll end it because, you know, I don't like the videos to have too little content, you know. I want to try to give you guys, like, you know, good stuff beyond just, you know, go here, I'm in there, blah, blah, blah. Of course I do that, but I want it to be a little more than that. 
So I'm just going to round up. All right. Uh, 13 percent yeah you can see it my camera is just above it so you do 113 1.13 which is 13 percent this is daily right so let's say I raise this to the power of let's say after 30 days and I want to do 20 but let's do 30 days so 30 days so this is so because it's auto compounding I'm getting 13 percent like clockwork every single day multiple times a day all right so 1.13 risen to the 30th power is this number, 39 point, all right, whatever. So right now, my chickens are worth 79. <laughs> this, is, this is a really fun, you see, that's another thing about these tomb forks. They all have very nice, movable terms. It's, it's like, it's so nice. That's, a very, that's actually a value, too. So right now, I think it's worth $79.75. So I'm just going to say 80 bucks, all right? So my eighty dollars, thirty days from now, if I don't do a single thing and it's pretty much at thirteen percent, like like clockwork, my eighty dollars has now become three thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars and twenty seven cents. So I turned throw away money, literally throw away money, into a nice stack of thousands of dollars. If I were if I weren't stupid and ate into Metaverse Pro and then basically now have to basically it's basically like a loan a very high risk loan with shit returns i could have thrown in like you know 500 to a thousand dollars as throwaway money and then instead of 80 dollars right let's say i just did 500 bucks all right i'd be like yeah whatever 500 bucks then my real then in 30 days my chicken farm is going to be worth nineteen thousand five hundred and fifty eight dollars now we're talking serious effing money all right, this is one third of my unrealized loss in fucking Metaverse Pro. All right, spent four years, all right, basically waiting, because that's because you know obviously you know I don't want to go into the whole thing, but obviously I made all my money in 2017, right, and then I got out and told everyone else to get out. So, you know, but you know that's just how it goes, right? That's just how it goes. But that's the power of time and compound interest. All right. It doesn't take a lot of money to make a lot of money. I know it feels that way, especially if you have bill pressure, like you got to pay bills. But you just got to understand that, you know, time is your greatest ally. It can also be your greatest enemy. So, you know, you got to plan accordingly. All right. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm making content. So that's why I'm all these different projects. But another reason why is because, again, in fact, it just went up 13.07. So we're going to make... So I might actually make more than 13%. So that means this amount, this number of, this amount of money is actually going to be worth even more. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah. But the point is, I like learning new things because the more new things that I learn, the greater my creativity. And the greater my creativity, the more clarity and insight I get into projects, right? Why do I know so much? Because I expose myself to all, <laughs> uh, the phrasing, expose myself to a lot of different uh, things and projects right so you know while idiot yeah, well idiot immoral people in real life are just protesting like stupid political shit right and really not getting anything done except just i guess screaming and socializing you know you and i are actually doing the real work you know we're actually making something of ourselves all right you know we're not doing loser stuff all right and i think the pay i think the payoff is worth it all right, so man, this is pretty eye-opening for me too. You know, nineteen thousand five fifty-eight, because you know to go from eighty bucks to what is it, thirty-one hundred twenty bucks or whatever I calculated before. I mean, it doesn't feel. I mean, to me, that doesn't feel as much money because you know I used to have a lot more money. All right, and I will have all my money back and then a lot extra. Right, because these team forks are really just going ham. Uh, but you know. But yeah, it's actually really, uh, really whatever. Because I, because in the future, right, in 30 days, there's obviously going to be more tomb forks. So I could put 500 bucks from that 3100 I just made out of thin air, right, and then keep the cycle going. Because as I recently tweeted, I think we're not going to have a Bitcoin bull run or crash anytime soon. Well, I mean, we'll we'll have maybe steady kind of progress on crypto because the Federal Reserve and really the central banks are manipulating markets so hard that we should have already had our Bitcoin hyper bull run than the crash. 
as is usual for their every four-year cycle. That's not happening. So I don't know. That's just something that I'm going to be looking into, right? Like, it's actually kind of insane. You know, I know enough now that thanks, again, a large part to Gregory Manorino, which, by the way, you should actually follow this guy. I'll show you the link up here. You know, I can actually understand why things happen. Because what I do actually isn't that hard. You just got to look at the fundamentals. I guess the hardest part is you have to know what the fundamentals are, right? So, you know, when, when, when everyone... When everyone is thinking, well, let's say Bitcoin finally hits like 500 grand, $1 million, right? Which is what we all want, right? And people will think, oh, this will never go down. Well, you know how I'll know it's going to go down? It's just it's going to crash? Yeah, I'm just going to look over here, right? Because well, before, many of you are new now. So before that, I did political videos and I did general cryptocurrency videos, which just didn't do very well. But one thing I always covered was this. This is the normie interest for Bitcoin search interest on Google Trends. So look, this is this is the 2017 peak. At the time, I looked at this, I was like, holy shit, this is going straight through the moon. Now at the time, this this little midpoint here, I can't mouse over it, right? This would show up at the time as 100%. So that's why I told everyone, hey, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Here's, here's I'm sure you find my old videos on my old YouTube channel. It still should be around there, right? I'd be like, hey guys, this thing is at peak. Like we don't know when it's gonna drop. So this is peak fever pitch. I think you guys need to take like serious profits because I'm dumping shit. All right, I was telling people just start dumping shit. All right, you can still keep taking cash flow, but take it more aggressively because this thing's gonna crash. I just don't know when, but it's gonna be very soon. And I kept going up and up and up, and then what happened? Kabam! You know, it went from December to January, and well, some of you might have gotten killed in 2017. You know, I was laughing all the way to the fucking bank, all right? You know, my viewers who were smart enough to follow my advice at the time also laughed all the way to the bank. So, yeah, so that's, you know, but we'll see uh, We'll see what happens, right? One day at a time, one week at a time, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so, all right, now we're coming up at 27, 28 minutes. So for now, I'm going to be done. Uh, once I start farming... Sunday finance. I'll I guess I'll guess I'll immediately do a video on that because I think I can trust the ice cream Sunday finance devs to pretty much not screw everything up, right? Not rug pull, etc. So you know we'll see. And plus it's a Genesis pool, so you know I want to get some tokens for free, especially since they're going to use ice cream and cream shares as probably the likely starter tokens. So. I don't know, I'm trying to think. I could probably, so I'm thinking what I'm going to probably do, because I've only done a couple of Genesis. I did the Genesis for, for chicken, by the way. So I don't do them anymore, but I'm making an exception in this case, because I think the profit could actually be pretty decent. And then I'm going to just use it to just buy more ice cream sh shares and the ice cream base token. I think it's just called cream. So basically, I want to increase my, my base position and then throw it back you know, into whatever, um, I mean, I guess we could take a look, what's, what is the yield on ice cream, by the way, yield wolf, phantom, let's see, I gotta probably type in cream, this is scream, nope, that's not right, ice cream, that's a copyright violation, by the way, for them to, oh my god, does this work? No, I guess I'm just going to have to manually search for it. Actually, it would probably be a lot faster if I just simply go into my Chrome. Okay, it's going to be a lot faster than I just go into Chrome. So this is chicken. Alright. Oh, because it's on AVAX. Duh, because I'm stupid. Oh, that's right. It's not a phantom, it's on AVAX. So it means I gotta switch it over here. Okay, I'm switching to AVAX. Here we go. There we go. There we go. That's the first thing that we see. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, too. I mean, the APRs on this are too low. Yeah, I'm making a shitty, like, average of 3%. Oh, they thought, actually. 
Wow. Well, at least I can eventually. Oh, see, that's the thing. There's almost no TVL in this one. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I know I'm both of these. I need to have like a few hundred bucks, so I'm probably gonna break down all of these things eventually, and then just go into C share cream. I thought I was gonna increase it, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll probably just use it to really just buy more snow. Funny enough, I might buy snow. No, snow tomb is not paying enough APR. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna actually. I might actually just bridge bridge whatever is left over. So it's like so. Let's say I have like four hundred bucks. 300 bucks in total in ice cream. I think I'll just take all that profit and put it in the egg drassel uh, money. I mean, it's pretty high risk for me to do something like that because I'm now overweighting like crazy on a brand new tomb project. But I mean, I don't see any red flags. I haven't seen anyone in the Elite Discord bitch that it's a rug pull, which means I better check the Discord real quick. Today, uh, SGO is launching. That's great. Uh, okay, I actually have some replies in Platinum Fire. Uh, okay. Thank you guys. Hey anyway, guys, uh, doing YouTube videos, so so I'll add your input into the plat mine video when I do it in a few days. All right. Now I was just replying to the Platinum Finance Discord chat. All right, yeah, other people are complaining that Beluga is giving them problems, too, and it doesn't always work. So, yeah, Beluga sucks. I just, just trash-ass shit. So, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So, okay, I actually, okay, so the yield on this is a lot lower than I thought. I'm going to have to check. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to, well, first I'm going to go into Cream Share Cream. Maybe I'll add a little extra money into this, let it go off on its own. After I've taken a lot of profit off of the Sunday Sunday Finance, I think that's what they're going to call it. You know, Genesis Pool, I think that'll run for like three days. I think that's what their Twitter said. So I'll get some free money, free tokens. Cream and C-Share will probably go up as well. And uh, yeah, I'll just take all that money and then, I don't know, I'll do something with it. All right, so I'm done for now. I'll probably see you again later tonight, right? But I'm honestly going to make sure everything checks out, at least for the first 10, 20, 30 minutes of the Genesis Pool for ice cream or Sunday finance. I'm actually getting hungry. I'm going to take a walk too. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. And again, remember what I said about this, right? You know, right now we're doing well, right? I mean, normie interest in Bitcoin is pretty much near all time lows. So this bull run, you can even call it that, hasn't even really gotten started yet. So we got plenty of time to just keep farming and big chilling. All right. When the time comes, and I'll let everybody know. I'll constantly say it every fucking video. All right. I'll even tweet it out. Right. I may even modify my YouTube this auto description. Right. My setting upload defaults to say, hey guys, I personally think we're close to the crash. Start dumping and start taking profit aggressively. Right. And get ready for the crash. All right. And I'll have a strategy video up for that too. But it's basically just go on Beefy Finance Phantom. And just stake stable coins. I already did the video on that technically, right? It's already up. It's called uh, stable coin farming, like 15, 20 to 40, 60, 80 percent. It's using Dola, True USD, and some other shit. So, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, I'll do an update to that video anyway. So, all right. I got your back. Hopefully, you got my back. Thanks for all the well wishes. I do feel physically much better, and I'll feel 100 percent for sure once I eat something. So. Uh, yeah, check it out. MyChicken.Farm. Spread my videos around. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to YouTube. We've been blowing up. So thank you all for that, by the way. All right, see you probably there tonight. Thanks.